The robot in charge of categorizing the human cadavers rattled off the list in a soft metallic voice. Head length, 6.2 inches. Head breadth, 9.2 His duty inches. was to faithfully record all of these facts for a software programmer who made a hobby out of studying anthropometry on the weekends. He wanted to rekindle the long-dead notion that there are clear distinctions between races and social classes that can be biologically demonstrated. His main focus was the difference between Pures and Augies. He harbored a deep hatred of Augies ever since he was bested by one in a high school javelin competition. <laughs> The robot looked at the scientists' back while reciting figures they had gathered early that morning at the city morgue. On weekends, the robot fat collector dreamed of a robo -pometry, in which he cataloged all of the varieties of robots' bodies in an attempt to show that his body was normal in its deviation from a norm. Since robots were more often than not designed for the task they were to perform, the shapes of their bodies had no normative shape. The robot, a large silver cube atop a thin shaft with three wheels at the base, resembled a coat rack. He believed that his type was the pinnacle of robotic perfection. However, deep inside his circuitry, as he read out the list of human appendages, he felt inferior. Sometimes at night he imagined himself to be a beautiful blonde woman with a large smile and pearly white teeth. Then maybe someone would notice him and pay him some attention. Then he wouldn't be just a glorified recorder and number cruncher. Maybe then the scientist would spend some quality time with him instead of treating him like... Length of big toe, 3.1 inches. Instead of treating him like a machine. Legs of extremity of big toe.